All right, this is Master Geo on Saturday at Exotica with Marcus London. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, how's uh, Exotica been treating you? So far, so good. I mean, you know, the crowds have been good. You know, it's, it's for what went on on here, this is pretty impressive. People are even coming out. So, you know, fair play to them to make the effort. It's important. So, uh, tell me a little about the Spartacus movie. Well, I mean, Spartacus, unlike a lot of movies of these, these days in adult, it, it's really a combination of every single factor that should be in a mainstream film, but we just added sex. Uh, whereas a lot of porn movies, they don't concentrate on the music, they don't concentrate on the style or the acting as much. It's really about, let's get to the sex. We kind of said, let's just get to the acting and figure out the sex later. And it, what's, what we've got is a movie that really you can get into as a, as a watcher, as a viewer, without worrying about the physical stuff, without worrying about the sexual content, and the sexual content comes up and naturally progresses into those scenes, so you have a movie that is action-packed, you get invested in a character, has amazing music soundtrack behind it, but then obviously the sex leads in, and it really drives the characters and their, their situations, and literally what's going on in the movie, to really bring a movie together that really has never been seen or done in this fashion before. How long did uh, the process to make this movie come about? We spent probably around five or six months making the outfits, the helmets, the swords, the shields, the sets. Um, a lot of time in design and uh, doing the actual um, uh, the, 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 the storyboarding, because it was very important to get shot by shot exactly what we wanted. The action sequences took two or three days each to put together. So, you know, we spent six days of actual shoot time, one day of fight training, and then we took five months of building and about four months of editing. So you could say it really was nearly a year from start to finish to get this movie on the street. But of course, you know, it can be seen in the end product because we took our time and we made something different. What was the hardest part of the shoot? Honestly, the shoot was easy. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, I've been on sets with regular movies at three days and they've had problem after problem. We had one person fall off a horse. We had, because of the camel, they didn't like the camel and it all went, went tits up. I got, uh, I, I kind of lost a finger now in, a foot in, in one of the sword fights. But in the respect of issues and, and problems, we had no problems. Everything was really perfect. Uh, I think the only issue was, that, you know, it took a long time to get it to this point because we did not want to rush. We didn't want to be controlled by a time frame. We wanted to spend our time and give this movie, you know, the time it deserved so we could decide if we wanted to change the way the movie was, was feeling. You know, in the edit, I actually put the ending at the beginning and swapped things around last minute because I felt it would, it would feel better, it would flow better. So really, honestly, it was a very, very easy movie in the respect of the shooting to do you know it was really the, the time we had to take that was difficult um, where did the idea come to make this movie actually uh, Tony DeSergio who played a very big role in this he plays uh, Barry Artis in the film he was a big fan of the TV show that I'd never seen and I started to watch it and I was so it's just enamored by the amazing cinematography of the TV show it kind of re reminded me of the story of Spartacus and I Wikipedia look and looked into the movie looked into the actual history of Spartacus itself and just thought what an amazing movie to shoot about the life of a, of a guy that was you know repressed and a, and a slave to stand up fight against you know it's like you at home standing up fighting against the British the American army it's it takes a lot of balls to stand up and and win for four years and never get defeated and and and, and have an army of 70,000 slaves so I was compelled to make a movie with just a little bit more sexual than the actual show itself with my own stamp with my own storyline and that's pretty much what we did what do you think fans of the show will get out of this movie they'll get all the bits that the the show left off you know i mean they got you worked up they got you teased they showed you a little they didn't show you a lot but they showed you enough and then that then it ended i go all out and show you everything but it, I don't show you like a porn movie. I show you like Spartacus would have shown you. It's done very naturally. There's the women. I don't even allow the women to scream anything. I don't allow. It's you know. I, want the, I said, roll your eyes, grab the sheets, do this. But I don't want to hear no fuck me hard. I don't want to hear that bullshit. I don't believe they said it then, so you're not saying it now. And that's pretty much how we made the movie. And it really works. Really works. Yeah. Earlier, before we were talking, you told me a little bit about the sex scenes. Uh, could you tell the well, what we did with the sex scenes is, again, every sex scene in a movie, especially adult movies in general, they all seem to roll in at one, and they, they only stand out maybe via the talent that's in it, not behind the premise of why these people are having sex. And every single storyline in this movie, as each couple or each group come in to have sex, there is a certain feeling behind the sexual content 
on that scene because maybe it's an anger grudge fuck. Maybe someone doesn't want to do it and they have no choice. Maybe they're in love. Maybe they're going to lose that person the next day in the arena. So that sex scene translates that feeling to the viewer via not just the music behind it, but by the way they have the sex, the positions they use, the looks they give each other. And it's based upon that dynamic that makes Spartacus really a totally different movie to any other adult movie in this business today. Well, I'm very excited to see it, and it's been a pleasure talking to you. Any final words? Watch Spartacus. Trust me, it's like nothing you've never seen before, and really and truly, I don't think you'll ever see anything again like it unless we make it. All right. Thank you very much. Pleasure.